Hey guys, so Steamboat Springs is really famous for its natural hot springs that are all over the place. One of the best ones to go to is Strawberry Springs Hot Springs. It's about eight miles from downtown. You kind of have to go through like mega off-road to get here. I mean, I literally just had to scale a mountain basically and it's not paved. Um, it's a little bit sketchy, but we're gonna go inside. Mike has the kids today and we're gonna see what this hot spring is all about. All right, so when you first get here, you it's $20 cash, and they're pretty strict about that. There's no ATM on site, so bring 20 bucks per person. It's a two hour reservation. Um, right now I'm in the changing cabin, because I didn't wear my bathing suit here, which is right by the springs. Pretty nice little cabin area, and I'm gonna take you out now and show you the swimming area. The different pools have different temperatures. This one is like bath water warm. The other one I was just in was like really, really hot. And then it opens up to the river. And this is just like ice cold, like ice water. Alright, so I'm just getting back in the car after going in the hot springs and they were really, really hot. Um, some of them were. I mean, they had like different pools and the really hot one was like scalding, but then you can go in different ones that are like bath water temperature. There's some that are ice cold, so you can do like a cold plunge kind of situation and then get back in the hot one, which is not what I did, but um, a lot of people were doing that. This was a really cool experience. I would definitely come back if you want a little bit of relaxation. What's up, y'all? We're in Steamboat Springs today. Um, we're on the main drag here, seeing what's going on. This is our first full day here, so we're gonna get into some mischief and bring y'all with us. that store has signs literally basically half the state as you're driving in to Colorado um, 
or are we, <laughs> Steamboat Springs, you can see the F&M light signs all over the highway. So really curious to check it out. It's all right. I mean, it wasn't like super big, but if you're into like cowboy Western gear, stuff like that, I guess that's your jam. So this would be your typical pioneer Victorian style bedroom. It's actually pretty massive. They did a lot of that back in the day. They had a lot of children. So much of the early development and economic growth of Steamboat Springs can actually be credited back to ranching and farming, which is not a surprise if you've ever been to Steamboat Springs and you're kind of winding through the mountains. There's just so many farms. You'll see cows, you'll see everything. So it makes sense that this town is kind of founded on that principle. So as more and more people came into Steamboat Springs, um, skiing became really popular here. It, the pioneers kind of moved past the hard winter life and started capitalizing on all this gorgeous snow that they, they got every year. And skiing re really took off, which kind of changed the dynamics of the town. It was once like a pioneer, kind of rough and tough town, kind of quickly became this like luxury destination, which is pretty cool, like how it changed from hard life of pioneers to what it is now, which is kind of bougie, you know what I'm saying? All right, we just walked the main street here in Steamboat, and now we're at Yampa Valley Botanic Park. Came highly reviewed on the old Google and the old interwebs. So we're gonna get some nature up in our systems, and then go grill some bison burgers back at the RV. It's the same river that goes through our RV park. There's some people that are getting in. They were just paddle boarding and then these guys are in rafts. But this river is no joke. <laughs> What's up guys? Today we're on the Yampa River Trail. We're riding the e-bikes. We got mommy over here with Jack. Hopper's on daddy's.
<laughs> what? We got two more days in Steamboat Springs, but we're leaving tomorrow because Steamboat Springs is boring as shit. <laughs> so we're, we're hitting the road and we're going to Moab. There's like nothing, absolutely nothing to do in Steamboat Springs unless it's winter time and you're into snowboarding and skiing. We decided to go up the road to the bowling alley by the campground and do some bowling, right? Yeah! yeah! I've never been bowling, so we're excited. We had so much fun bowling, but as Mike said earlier, there wasn't a ton of stuff to do with kids in Steamboat Springs. So we got out of town a couple days early. Next stop, Moab. 